What up, tubers? How you doing? Good. Which is today? Today is uh, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. This is just a quick video. It's sort of an update to... Uh, I've made two gun grab videos. Uh, one was sort of like your typical gun grab, talking about, you know, the police coming door to door to confiscate weapons. The second one was sort of a... Uh, thinking outside the box, like how they could pull it off, because the whole door-to-door -door thing obviously is a kind of a no-go. That would turn into a real shit show real quick. So uh, the second one was like the truth about a gun grab, and that was more about how they will basically vilify gun owners and make um, guns a bad thing, just as how they made homosexuality and transgenderism and. LBTQ, LMNOP, WXYZ, like, acceptable. They play it off like it is, but 99% of the population isn't in support of this nonsense. But they're very good at their propaganda, and they make it look like, because the media is behind everything, the, um, the propaganda wing of the government, the media, uh, it makes it look like you're the outcast because, you know, you're against something and they really do a great job of making it look like everybody else is in favor of it they're not just crazy people are but that's sort of the road i was saying like how they vilified cigarette smokers you know 20 30 years ago it was no big deal to light up in a restaurant light up in an airplane and uh they've made it now to where you know cigarette smokers are you know banished to some remote corner outside in the cold and uh it's just a perception thing uh, that they they change the way the general public perceives smokers. They've changed the way, or they haven't really changed the way, but they've made it appear that they've changed the way that the general public perceives, um, you know, homosexuality and transgenderism and bestiality and pedophilia. It's it's all a perception game. And in my second video on gun grabs, that was sort of the take. It's like, you know, they don't have to go door to door. They just have to vilify you as a gun owner and make everybody point at you and snicker and call you names and shame you into giving up your guns. Uh, so it was more of a psychological ploy. But that was just sort of like spitballing, um, letting people know. Because every comment was like, they're going to kick in my door off, you know. Everybody was like John Rambo, and, and then they all said, well, yeah, once word gets out, then people would stand up and fight, and, and uh, so I had to put out another video, I guess maybe I have three out already on gun grabs, saying how that could be squashed by simply uh, taking out any forms of communication, grid down situation. You're not going to use Facebook or Twitter or email or anything else or cell phones or anything to warn others, hey, guess what's going on? You know, they're, they're going door to door. Everybody arm up. Well, if they, they would be stupid if that was their tactic, not to take down the, uh, the power grid and uh, all forms of communication. Because if you don't know what's happening, there ain't shit you can do about it until, you know, suddenly they kick in your door. You didn't know it was coming. So another thing, people, people keep coming up with yeah buts, and it's just like, I don't think they think it through. It, they just take the power away, and then nobody is going to, you know... It, Every argument I've had so far is really just simple to, to debunk because people aren't thinking. They're reacting emotionally, which is what they want you to do. People aren't thinking, so think. Um, but speaking of thinking, so I've done even more thinking about it. And uh, in regards to a gun grab, here's the thing. And again, people aren't thinking. This is so obvious. If the government didn't want us to have guns, and I think America has something like 300 million guns and like 70 million uh, registered gun owners. So that's about four plus guns per gun owner. So, but 70 million, even if everybody only had one, that's 70 million guns and people that um, more or less probably somewhat know how to shoot them. Some may be really, really proficient. Others, maybe not so much but that's a humongous army 70 million people with guns if they didn't want us to have them we wouldn't have them it's that simple they would have gotten rid of us gun owners 
a long time ago, when it was way more manageable, they would have gotten rid of uh, firearms. They would have done whatever they needed to do to make sure it never reached the point of 300 million guns. That clearly tells me something I've been saying for a while is they want us to have guns. Every time there's a, I don't know, I gotta watch what you say on here, the AI's watching. Every time there's an FF, the first thing that happens is gun sales increase. Yet they keep doing these FFs, knowing ahead of time that every time they do it, gun sales are going to increase. Okay, So if their goal is to disarm the public, why do they keep doing things that they know for a fact causes more people to go out and buy guns? Well, it's because they want us to have guns. They don't have a problem with that. I've been telling people for quite a while now, um, they want us armed. And of course people, why would they want us armed? Again, you're not thinking. The best way, see they already realized that um, years and years and years and years ago, it passed the point of no return as far as a manageable number of, of gun owners. So, <clears throat> the right now, like I said, 70 million man army, that's a formidable opponent. So the best way to make the odds manageable is for your opponent, your opponents, to take each other out. So if you've got 300 million firearms in America and you do a grid down or whatever it causes civil unrest it's war in the streets um, right versus left whatever nonsense division tactics they've been pushing that people have been buying um, the best way to dwindle the numbers is to just let people kill each other so they want you to have guns it's the most efficient way for neighbors to kill one another is to uh, just have a shootout Nationwide, everybody's shooting, bullets are flying, people are dying. They just sit back and watch the bodies fall. And eventually it'll get to a point where it is manageable. At that point, they can send in UN troops or whoever they choose, whatever their plan is. And uh, they show up and now they've got a nation with maybe 10 million guns. Or 10 million gun owners. 10 million people with guns. As opposed to 70 million. Because we all killed each other. Because we fell for the, the bullshit and we took the bait. So, the whole gun grab thing is nonsense. Like I said, if they wanted us to be uh, gun free, they would have. that would have happened a long time ago. Um, yeah, there's some states where it's more difficult. But there's not a state yet where you can't get a gun if you really want one. So, that's not their goal. They want us to have guns. They want us to uh, take each other out until we uh, make it manageable for them to then come in and clean up the mess. So I don't want to hear any more nonsense about they couldn't come door to door. They don't have to come door to door. They can do that at the very end when uh, you don't have 40 people on your street that would uh, put up a resistance. You might only have five because everybody killed each other. So anyway, think. Use your head. Stop responding with emotion, okay? That's all you gotta do, is think. They want people to react emotionally because when you react emotionally, you're not using your brain. Because I only thought about this topic for a couple of minutes a few times and it was like, oh, well, they wouldn't uh, go door to door, they would just vilify gun owners. And then it was like, well, wait a minute, if they wanted us to not have guns, that would've happened a long time ago. Uh, whenever they do an FF, gun sales go up. They keep doing FFs, therefore they know ahead of time gun sales are gonna go up. They want us to have guns. Well, why would they want us to have guns? Oh, to kill each other. Okay, why would they want to do that? To make us far more manageable. You know, look at the Georgia Guidestones. Look at Agenda 21. They want to decrease the population. Uh, when you got that many people, it's, it's a multi-pronged attack. You can't just chemtrail us. You can't just put shit in our food. Because people will grow their own food, or people will you know, drink distilled water or filter their water to the point of getting all the fluoride out of it and everything. So you have to hit them with 
all kinds of things. And, you know, one of the best ways to dwindle the population numbers is just to have us kill each other. It's not that hard to figure out. So, stop with the division, think, and don't buy their nonsense because um, they want you to have guns, so don't buy the gun grab nonsense. The easier it is for us to kill each other, the less work it is for them in the end when they pull into your neighborhood to uh, clean up the mess. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to say for now. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, enjoy the music.